With the holidays barely in the rearview mirror, Penn State's ice wars were about to heat up again. A new year, a new semester with the same goals. Do you sense, as you see now, you go into that second semester, a sense that this is a team that really wants to achieve some goals that it set out for? I think we felt that way before. There hasn't really been a change, but I think you could have sensed that right from the start. Um, you know, you look at this, this big senior class, when they were freshmen, they won the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. And uh, they want to do it again, and they know this is their last shot. And I think we've had a sense of that feeling all through the year. 2020 began with the Nittany Lions ranked eighth and looking to climb higher. Let's make sure we set the message right now that they know we're going, we're going places, eh? Hey? We're going places, and we're starting right now. Hey, Nate, you're in line. Hold seat. You and Paul, Nate, you're in. Big Ten champions as freshmen, the seniors want to go out the way they came in. I got one. Nice fade. Look into the zone. Oh, Pavlicek gets a step. Breakaway. Pavlicek fires. Scores! Pavlicek! Penn State leads 1 6. Yep, 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 yep. Senior or freshman, sophomore or junior, all have championship aspirations. Special teams giving them a second lead on Niagara. So Zan fires, scores! Wicked shot, Sam Sternstein! Power play goal! Get up, Sturdy! It wasn't just upperclassmen lighting the lamp. The scoring contributions continued down the line with a freshman getting his name on the score sheet. Under five to go, the lead at one. Stolen McMiniman attacking zone. McMiniman wheels below the first circle, walks out front. He scores! What a goal! The 3-2 win was a good start to the new year, although they knew they could still play better. Even though the students were still on Christmas break, it was another sellout as Pagula Arena continues to produce the best atmosphere in college hockey. Wide of the goal from the top of the far circle. Holtz keeps it in your point. Back down low, Pavlicev side of the goal, pitches it out front, score! Side of the net and it bounces in. Penn State has a one nothing lead. Snells the lone man back, he dives and breaks up the pass. He goes crashing into the net, it comes off, and Oscar Audio makes the stop to keep it out. Audio posted his second shutout of the season while the power play added insurance. Barrett top of the near circle, drives, tipped out front, Pavlicev whacks it towards the goal, rebound, score! Penn State power play goal, crashing the crease, and the Nittany Lions turn garbage into gold. Up next, a trip to the home of the Pittsburgh Penguins. We're gonna get after it here, okay? Get after it getting pucks, get after it getting pucks north, get, get after it getting pucks south. Okay, boys, let's start off great. This one's big if you remember. Last chance, last non-conference chance to help our cause and the league's cause, this is it. Let's make sure we have a good one. Peyton, your game. They took control early. Susie flings it back near point, holds a drive, tipped out front, score! Yeah! Penn State was winning the small battles in the compete zones, doing what it takes to win games. In from the point, McEachern in the slot, fire, scores! High blocker, Connor McEachern, the goal, great setup there, and a trio of freshmen deliver for Penn State, it's a 2-0 Nittany Lion lead. Penn State was unbeaten on the season when a freshman scored a goal, and they were well on their way to improving that mark to 8-0. Goalie Peyton Jones continued his knack for playing well in NHL buildings, while the freshmen weren't finished scoring in a dominating first period. Barrett looking for an outlet. Barrett near circle, backdoor shot, score! the near point blocker side on Capel Master. The floodgates are wide open here in the first period. 4-0 Penn State. Susie's off the draw, out front, score! Max Sobeck! Susie's chipped it off the goal to the front of the net. Three assists put Susie's on top of the all-time Lions points list. Pretty proud of it. It's kind of been on my mind a little bit, so uh, happy that it's over with and ready to build on top of it.
Barrett to Limoges. Limoges across the Colonial line. He'll snipe and score! It was the sixth straight time Penn State has beaten in-state rival Robert Morris. While it's a treat to play in an NHL arena, the Nittany Lions are used to playing in an NHL atmosphere every time they step on the ice at Pagula. Their fans ensure that. <laughs> As you can clearly see, it's a process. You gotta get this, gotta get it in the right spot, right here. Slide it in, make sure it's great. In Hockey Valley, the love affair is mutual. Where else does the coaching staff make pizza deliveries? A slice of hockey heaven. Let's go. Michigan was in town as the Nittany Lions were staring into the jaws of the Big Ten schedule. By now, they were up to number six in the national rankings. The Wolverines tripped them up on Friday, but Penn State rebounded Saturday. The Nittany Lions are loaded with talent, but as Coach Guy Godowski often emphasizes, in the Big Ten, it takes talent and hard work to win. Penn State put plenty of perspiration into their comeback against Michigan, and it paid off in a game that was tied three separate times. Back to the line, jams it back, kept Maleri. He'll walk in, a rifle, save, rebound, put it up, Barrett scores! Evan Barrett slams it in! That's the Michigan would come back and take a 4-3 lead, but not to be denied, Penn State rallied with their net empty for the extra attack. Body block, loose out front, scramble there, fire, score! Tie game, tie game, tie game! 4-4 four, four with 1-22 to play in the third! Pagula was electric as both teams had chances in overtime, but the bounces did not go their way. Down to three on three in the second OT, Michigan eventually got the extra Big Ten point. But playing in the high pressure overtime was a learning opportunity. And Guy Godowski and his staff would make sure his players would learn a lesson from the pain. They were still in the hunt for first place in the Big Ten as they traveled to East Lansing and played well, losing a tight game one to Michigan State. The next night, Nate Soucy's got them going. Flutters back, center point, Holtz keeps. Holtz shoots it into the near circle. Susie's turns, drives, scores! Nate Susie's! Penn State on the board first. One zip, Penn State. And those overtime lessons would pay immediate dividends. Susie's looks for an outlet. Saucer's back. Holtz a drive. It's blocked out front. McMenamin fires and scores! Connor McMenamin, the overtime winner. Penn State wins on the is one time, it was blocked, they score! Connor McMenamin. You look at that happy group, it's sudden victory for the freshman. Connor McJesus now. Oh, yeah. I don't like this I at all. Up your hat. Your puck. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was tickling the ceiling. He's like, hey, pass me the puck. And then Nate passed it to Cole, and he like slammed a stick on the ice. And luckily, there was a puck right there. I think he did it in frustration. Turns out he hit the puck in. So um, it all worked out for you, I guess. I don't know. And then Cocky Selly in the student section. So. Well, you can tell the student section. Did you can tell them that that's his city? I think he's, he goes like, this is my city. He doesn't get enough publicity, and now people will know what kind of person he actually is, what kind of player he is. <laughs> for all the Nittany Lions, playing for Penn State is to be a kid again, where enthusiasm for the game is a prerequisite. That goes for everyone entering the Pagula Ice Arena. 
Even though Penn State was still missing some key players against Notre Dame, this group brought the fight to the Irish, led by the biggest Nittany Lion, who scored their first goal. Off his shoulder behind the goal, and Penn State has it, though. Pavlichev, near circle, shot, score! The always raucous Pagula Ice Arena was bursting with excitement and at the seams as well. Over 6,000 would see the Nittany Lions go ahead in the second period. Go back, back to the line, Malaria center point shot. It's curled out front, Scores! Sam Sturgeon slams it in! Great pass by McEachern! In the stands and on the ice, Penn State was giving it everything they had. Sternshine celebrated with the fans and his teammates while Peyton Jones stood his ground in goal. The goaltending was actually strong at both ends, and the Nittany Lions would fire 48 shots on the Irish net, with the game still tied at two, heading into the third. McMenamin across the Irish line, he was looking for Grant, bolts up the near wing, from the near circle, slings it back, a drive by Steven, score! Penn State took over sole possession of first place when the game officially ended in a 3-3 tie. Notre Dame picked up an extra point with a win in a seven-round shootout. The Lions would get Brandon Byro back to the lineup for game two and the Hockey Valley white rush. Played all weekend, pretty excited for it. You know, getting the new jerseys out, gonna be pretty exciting. Uh, we've been waiting to wear these for a long time and it's always the best atmosphere of the year at night, so you know we're just looking forward to it. The whiteout jerseys and the crowd is going to be nothing like I've seen before. So very excited. I know everybody else in the locker room is too. Just as Beaver Stadium is the greatest atmosphere in college football, Pagula now is the greatest arena in college hockey. It's already half full. We're still on over an hour. I'm pumped. These jerseys are sick, baby. There's a whiteout, the best environment in all college hockey. No question. This team, number one in the Big Ten, best environment in college hockey. Stewart section is going to be going nuts. Alumni fans are going to be going nuts, and the peg is going to be rocking. The roar zone was in full throat, and they could hear them before they took the ice. They were ready. All of Hockey Valley, students, alumni, young and old, the Nittany Lion hockey family at its energetic maximum. It's behind the goal, Hellickson, Penn State to seal. Barrett out front, LeBeau, score! Alex LeBeau! LeBeau goes glove side on Morris, then he swings and hits a home run. This is hockey's salute to football and the standard that they have set. The good guys in white. Today pulls center point. Today pulls Pavelchev goes right to the goal. Fires blocker to Wayward. Pavelchev stuck it off. Score! Tie game! Tie game! Nikita Pavelchev! It was a tremendous tribute to how hockey has woven itself into the athletic culture at Penn State, but the Lions fell short. And the back and forth nature of the past few weeks had the Lions feeling a little bit like a ping pong ball. Big time game here? Oh yeah, always big time between these guys. Oh my god. That was sick. <laughs> oh. I lost. Good battle, but get the camera like yeah. this. In the end, he's just too lucky, you know. <laughs> Number one for a reason, I guess. It was a nice win for Guy Gadowski. But Penn State looked to be number one in a more important set of standings in Ohio. A little bit of OSU action. Nothing too big, too fancy here. We're just looking for three points tonight, you know? How long are you really here? Um, until my career is over here at Penn State. Really? Yeah. yeah. With just two regular season weekends left in the year, every game can make or break the season. The battle against Ohio State had implications in the Big Ten and the NCAA tournament. 
return the D every time, and let's get some greasy goals by getting in the net, okay? Nate, your line starts, two and three, Pete, you got it. On the road, it's crucial to start with a big hit. And one of the best lines in college hockey gave Penn State just that with a big time home run. Pass to the Buckeye line, breaking on free. It's Liam Folks in, dangles shot, and it's batted out of the air. Barrett, Evan Barrett scores! A baseball swing, top shelf on Napier. What did we just see? What we saw was the amazing becoming routine with the most creative player in college hockey, Evan Barrett. And as Alex Stevens delivered another kind of hit, it was very apparent that this was a collision of Big Ten hockey giants. Every inch of ice would have to be earned. Susie's on the draw, won it back. Wait, let's fly, score! A snipe from the center point, and Cole Holtz rifles it in. Penn State would get another tie, but fall one point behind the Buckeyes after losing the shootout. So to claim first place on night two, they would have to juggle a little more pressure. And the traveling roar zone gave the team an extra hand. There's a scrum for the puck behind the Buckeye goal. Byro gets it free. Smirnoff comes in. Shot. Score. Power play goal. Dennis Smirnoff. The senior leaders give this group the drive needed to win on the road on both sides of the ice. And the freshmen took note, looking like sports cars. But it was a limo who delivered. Angled away from the side of the goal by Gabriel. Right back out front. Lamarge Barrett scramble. Score. Guy Godowski was pushing all the right buttons, this time hitting numbers 10 and 14 for delivery. Sling it back behind the goal for Byro. Byro to her right, picks up the puck. Byro walks the side of the goal, pitches it on, scramble there, score! Sue Cease and Byro, two of the best ever at Penn State, and Jones, well, he's the standard for all future Penn State goalies. Twisted Barrett, near circle, one-timer, scores! Evan Barrett with a blast! Folks, Holtz, and Barrett supplied the game winner and finally ensured a complete Big Ten weekend. Penn State had cracked the Buckeyes. I told you we'd do it, going home with three points. It's kind of a six-point swing there for the boys in the standing, so we'll take it. State College, good week of practice. Let's do it again. Yeah, we played a good, solid game. Didn't really give them a whole lot. So, you know, we're really happy with how we played tonight. Keep that rolling into next week. And we got to the net hard and finished. He's a good goalie. You gotta, gotta get ugly ones on him, so that's what we did. I'm gonna play as a team. We, got, we didn't get lucky for a few games, but now we gotta be better from now on. Stuck to our systems. Played Penn State hockey. I think this is a big turning point for us. We've got a couple tough games, but I think we're really excited. It's going to be good. It's good. Good win. Big road win. Hey, Barry, notice who the camera's following. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's better. That's better. <laughs> Huge one. Just don't change a thing. Just got to get better at what we're doing. To, uh, build on that. Carry it in the next weekend. Back on the road the next weekend, the ninth-ranked Nittany Lions were bitten by the Badgers on Friday, which once again set up a crucial Saturday showdown for Penn State. Fresh members of the 100-point club, Alex Limoges and Liam Folks, jump-started the offense in the first period. It's off to Lebedev's right, Barrett won it, squeaks free, Folks has shot, swallowed it behind him, score! Penn State scores! And Penn State's Alex Limoges right there in the net mouth to bat it in on a full shot from between the rings. 
Kevin Wall set up a wall in front of the Wisconsin net, giving Cole Holtz the opening he needed. Holtz releases, screen, score! Cole Holtz from the near point. Great setup out front from Kevin Wall. That screen results in the Penn State goal. Then Evan Bell rang in the game winner with help from a flying fin. For the trailer wall. Wall in the slot, two on one out front. Tommy weaves, shot, sprawling, left it up to his left. Scramble there, score! And a net mouth scramble, it's jammed in, back door. Penn State goes up three. Evan Bell at the right spot at the right time, turning garbage into gold. Penn State's last road game of the regular season was golden earning them a tie for first place in the Big Ten with Minnesota. When you were able to put your lineup together and knock on wood here, you had everyone available tonight. What's that mean for you guys? Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's a, it feels like a luxury. And, uh, you know, I know there's going to be a little bit of rust, but but uh, really good to have everybody back and feeling good. And this is going to be this is a great weekend and it's nice to be healthy. With so many key players missing time during the season, it's been difficult for Penn State to get on a real consistent streak. Still ranked 11th, they were set to take on 18th ranked Minnesota, one of the hottest teams in the country, let alone the Big Ten. And they would produce a great game. No penalties, but tons of action. Holtz is there to cancel, Susie's the other way, and Penn State does have some numbers, lobs it into the gopher end. Byro has a center, Stelvidiello settles down deep, fires, goal! It was a treat for Penn State fans to finally see the total combination of talent, hard work, and a healthy lineup. The Nittany Lions produced a season-high 57 shots on goal. Several times they took the lead. Minnesota had not been able to win in regulation at Pagula in their last six visits, but the Gophers were stubborn, and like most Big Ten hockey games, this was a blood and gut struggle. And down low, loops to the end boards, Byro's there, Byro centers, goes off the body, Gobet's high slot drive, blocker to Ayla Fontaine into the near corner, Talvidia gobbles it up, Talvidia cycles for Byro, strides behind the goal, Byro pivots, side of the goal, Susie's fires, Already Penn State's all-time career leader in points, Nate Soucis set a new single-season personal best, his three points giving him 38 for the season. Usually, the Nittany Lions are great at protecting third-period leads. Myers slinks in, low shot, scores! Ben Myers has tied his all-star free direction, rebound, Minnesota scores! The Lions refused to be snowed under by the two goals in less than three minutes. Instead, they rolled up their sleeves and figured out a way to get things even again. With the odds in Brandon Byro's favor, working one on four. Byro, Byro, the steal, chips it on, save, rebound, whack, score! It was an individual effort indicative of the Nittany Lions team, heart and soul the refusal to give in even when circumstances look bleak. Byro is there, nosing around, steals, gets a shot away, and scores! The Pagula faithful were frenzied in appreciation of the effort. Byro's goal produced a double overtime chance that the Nittany Lions would take full advantage of. Recoil in here, circling along. Now the lead pass to Holtz, a two on two to the gopher line. Crosses the gopher line, Holtz into the slot, drags, fires, LaFontaine, save, scramble there. Lamarge, he scores! Alex Lamarge stops it in. Penn State with the three on three win. Four check. Cole Holtz, the shot, rebound.
It's the kind of win that Penn State seniors expect to produce since they won the Big Ten title as freshmen. In what seems like a short time ago, now they are being honored at their final regular season home game. Another battle with Minnesota. Rebound, Walker scores, and that's a much better start. Just three minutes in, Sammy Walker, how you doing? It could have been a bigger Minnesota advantage, but Peyton Jones helped keep the Nittany Lions in it as they tried to get their sea legs. Their goals coming from training camp still the same, still within reach. But despite the usual support from Nittany Nation, the first period proved to be an uphill battle. Burke, cool little play right in front, they score! Wow! Lacombe the finish, Burke would a pass, and Minnesota leads 2-0. It was a disappointing start after the emotional win the night before, but it's times like these where good teams reach down for something extra. The emotion of senior night, the sluggish start, things that needed to be and would be overcome by a team that's been there and done that before, one that thirsts for more and is willing to pay the price to get it. Barrett's goal sent a shockwave through Pagula and re-energized the third largest crowd in the building's history. Tying the game up would take a combination of goaltending, hustle, great defense, and attention to detail. And then in a span of just 31 ticks of the clock in the third period, the Nittany Lions took over the game. Chris Maleri will hop on it for Penn State. Bratton sneaking ahead with Pavlicev. Pavlicev shoots and scores! Gratton into the goal for zone. He's got Pavlicev going to the goal. Centers Pavlicev out front shot. He scores! Tie game! 2-2, 11 minutes left. Nikita Pavlicev moves it, and the senior knocks it off. Pavlicev, though, has it behind the goal for goal. Stuffs it on, loose out front, wall and drive. He scores! It's game leads! 3-2, Nikita Lions. Time 29 to play. 31 seconds apart. in dramatic fashion as Penn State rallies from 2-0 down to win it 3-2 on home ice. The win ensured this would not be their final home game and more importantly spoke of the championship possibilities that still lie ahead for the Penn State hockey family. And one of those possibilities turned into reality the next weekend. While on a bye, the teams chasing Penn State did not catch them. And for the first time in program history, the Nittany Lions are the regular season Big Ten champions. Unreal. The first is special, you know, because I think the regular season championship in a lot of ways is harder than a lot of other championships. We were all kind of gathered up and we were watching the games and we were first time we were ever rooting for Michigan, so it's kind of a funny, funny experience. But uh, feels good. Huh? It does feel good. Yeah. good. First time program history. Uh, this group has put in a lot of time and effort to, to win a regular season championship, so um, first is more special, but they're all special. 
it was incredible when we saw Michigan uh, get that uh, shootout goal. Uh, kind of all cheered pretty hard, and now we uh, got two weeks to enjoy it here before we get to uh, the semifinals. Oh my God! What a great, awesome! They deserve it. Like to do it the the, the whole season and to overcome everything that you have to end up on top. They they should feel pretty good. How about you? I feel really good. <laughs> The Nittany Lions ended up three points ahead of second place, earning a bye for the first weekend of the Big Ten tournament. They also earned the right to be called champions for the rest of their lives. <laughs>